Welcome to the Fans Only Sports Network and welcome inside the Cranston East Gymnasium for boys volleyball action. The Cheraho Chargers taking on the Cranston East Thunderbolts here for the 6.30 p.m. matchup. Charlie Adams here on Play by Play joined by John Garcia once again on analyst duties. The Better Than Yeen broadcast team is here bringing you all the action. This should be a great matchup, you know. Cranston East is coming off of a strong 3 to nothing sweep over Hendrickson this past Tuesday. How is that momentum going to carry over into today? I think East needs to start off well, try not to make mistakes early, and just play good off the jump instead of waiting till the end to make comebacks every time. Make yeah, it intense. They were definitely coming back from behind in a lot of their sets that they faced Hendrickson in. For Cherho, they're also 2-2 two and two on the year, along with Cranston East, and they took a 2-3 to three loss versus Hendrickson. So a five-set loss. Cranston East is fresh off of a sweep in their last one. This should be an exciting one. Thank you to everyone tuned in watching the Fans Only Sports Network as we're gearing up to get this one going. Little different scoreboard here from our last game. A couple more elements. Try to make sure everything is as clear to the viewer as possible. We have the current score of the set on the left. And on the right in the gray numbers is the score of the sets themselves. And then on the bottom there you can see which set we are currently in. Hopefully that cleans up things on the viewer side of things. But we're definitely ready to get things going here. Cranston East, 2-2, two 1-2 and two, one and two in league. Picked up their first win of the season in league play this past Tuesday. You can watch that game on demand for free on the Fans Only Sports Network. Cranston East taking up the left side of the court, wearing the black jerseys on the right, Cheriho in the green. Pretty Decent crowd walking in here to Venetola Gym. It's not the nicest weather day. A little bit rainy and cloudy. A little colder than these past couple days, but should be getting up to nicer weather during our April vacation coming up next week. Yes, sir. Larry Yin, Carlos Laura, along with Cato Comperdiff, Dennis Dixon, Charles Charles Pins, excuse me, Charles Pinsons, and Caleb Schum on the court for Cranston East. It looks like Cheriho will start us off here. First set of the day, getting underway. Cranston East with Dixon faking and a good drop in by Pinson's for the opening point. Great way to start this game. East needs as much momentum as they can get starting early. Now Larry in with the serve, sends it over. Libero to Libero as William Ellis fields it. Laura with the one-handed save. Pinson sends it over. Tossed up by Poplowski. And it falls in another Cranston East point as our game is just getting underway. Busy day in the Cranston East sports world once again after yesterday's one game being played by boys lacrosse. It's a full slate of action today. Big spike there by Travis Plant Mullen and Cherahoe's on the board. That was a great spike. Seemed like East could do nothing there to stop that. Sent over by Cherahoe after their first point, two to one. Pinson's returns fire with a spike attempt. Cranston East lets it drop. Referee. Goes Cranston East way with the call. The 
half. Thunderbolts were confident enough in it to let it fall. And it seems like they made the right judgment. At least the referee agrees with them as Caleb Schum back to serve. Schum serves it over. Cherho tapping it in. Schum with the dive and Ricard off the ceiling. And that'll cost Cranston East a point. Ball went directly into the ceiling and now Cherho back within one early in our first set. Schum lobs it to Ricard and a great drop in there. Nice touch from Katie. As we said earlier, the Bolts trailed for most of the game against Bishop Hendrickson despite having a 3-0 sweep when it was all said and done. And point going to Cheriho there. It looked like Pinson's might have found it, but referees taking the point. And now it's a one-point game. Ref seems a little confused here starting early. Relying on the flag, kids. Very, very controversial call there. So four to three. Nearly looked like an ace for Pinson's. Turned into a Cheriho point. And now Ricard again with a kill there. Couple of early good looks for Ricard. Good serve from Caden. Another good spike coming from Cheriho. This one, Jack McCallig. He's struggling with trying to block that spike. Two times he's done that now. Without an East defender in sight. Tapped over there by Laura. Now Pinson fields it in the back. Laura sends it in and it goes out of bounds past the back line. We're back even now at five points in our first set of action here on the Fans Only Sports Network. Yin with the dig, and now Ricard. Dixon rises up there, brings it into Cheriho territory. Now Shum. Cheriho, hard block, return, arcade. another block. Block made, Shroom goes low to save it. Yin tosses it up and Ricard flicks it over. Cheriho finds Pinson's in the back. The rally continues. Another good block there, this time Cheriho tosses it over on the third hit. Dixon fakes and Laura sends it past and out of bounds. Great try from Carlos there. Great set from both teams there. Both teams were definitely dueling on that one, and Cheriho got the better of it. Now Pinson's set up for Caden Ricard, and the Thunderbolts go out of bounds seems, again. Seems like the outside hitters are struggling to keep it in the lines today. The coach might have to go over that. A little bit powerful out of the gate. Trailing by two points for the first time here tonight. Yin moves over to field it. S set for Caden Ricard who spikes it over. Pinson's bumps. Shroom sets and Laura sends it in. That was better. That's what you want to see out of Cranston East as they're back in the scoring column. Substitution made by Cranston East as 
in to serve is Cato Comperative. Go blocked by Caleb there. Bit of an overwhelming effort there from Cranston East to get that point across. We're back even at seven apiece. Comperative serving here. Tapped over by Landon Marlin. Set up for Marlin, finds Comperative. Now Schum gets it to Rally continues here as little miscommunication there gives a point away for the Chargers. I think that Coach Diggs is a little frustrated with the way he set it up there. He felt like the opportunity, he had an opportunity to make a play. Fell right in between Larry Yin and Cato Comperative. Now Yin with the dig Great that sends it Larry. over. Pinson's good job on that hard hit. And now Laura sends it right into the blockers who deflect it into the ground, a point for Cranston East. Laura back to serve. Set up and the spike attempt there by Plant Mullen collides with the net. Point goes Cranston East way. Laura with the serve. Mullen tries again. This one gets over and finds Laura. Now Charles Pinson's with the send over Great as defense from Cherho. Just out of bounds. Cranston East picks up another one. Caleb tried his best there trying to block. Issa seem to find their rhythm now, making plays. Larry in, ready to serve here. Tapped over by Casey Poplowski, and the point goes to Cheraho. Good hustle from Carlos there, Charming. Trying to save the ball, and I'm getting a point. Off the ceiling, and that might have messed with Caleb Schum trying to return that one as it falls in. Game is tied now, now at 11. Caleb with the serve now. Shroom sending it over and Cheraho a step behind the ball there as Ellis is unable to field it. Falls in for an ace by Shroom. Cranston East administration cycling through Venetulo Gym here as per usual. He's rallying now up by three. Hoping they can keep this momentum going. Shroom another serve. This one lightly over and falls out of bounds. So from an ace to a serve fall in. It's now 14 to 12.
Good serve there by Cherahose, Plant Mullen, and a diving Yin unable to stop it. Off the face of Larry Yin, trying his best to save it. Hard serve. Plant Mullen's effort is stopped this time, but the block by Cheraho gets them back even at 14 See, apiece. Seems like East was confused there with two two people jumping at the same time, almost hitting each other for that. That's it. Whoa, Ooh. that's way over. Too much power in that. Travis Plant Mullen just sent it nearly out of the gym. Easy pickup of a point for Cranston East and now Pinson's ready to send it over and return the favor. A couple mistakes on both sides of things here. Maybe Cranston East with a few more than Cherahoe. Neither coach using, util, utilizing their timeouts, neither. Just letting their teams play through it. Ricard unable to keep that attempt in bounds and Cherahoe is out in front here. Tip over by Laura again, gets the job done against the blockers from Cherahoe. Carlos Laura having an amazing first set. Playing great. Tafa Ndoye heads to the bench as Caden Comperdiff comes on to serve. 16 to 16, you're watching set one of Cranston East versus Cherahoe here on the Fans Only Sports Network. Charlie Adams joined by John Garcia as the serve gets its way over and now a tip in by Quinn Spasado. Posado goes up again, and the diving Laura can't save it. It falls in for Cherahoe to take the lead at 17. Caden quickly checks back out of the game as Dennis Dixon heads in. Dixon immediately... Showing his impact with that height as he spikes it cleanly in for the point. Now Cato Comperdiff, the twin brother of Caden Comperdiff, on to serve as Caden Ricard heads to the bench. Good serve. Bumped Caden. back over by Marlin. Set up for Dixon who gets the job done again. East is getting their rhythm back here, playing their game. Dennis Dixon since checking in back off the bench already with two quick kills. Now with the block, and he is locked in here. Late in set one. The Thunderbolts are building on a lead. Cato Comperative unable to get that one over the net. Hands a point back to Cherho. It's a one point game as set one co continues here. Yin bumps, Shum sets, and from a distance, Laura sends it back. Just out of bounds, but the point goes to Cheraho on that one. From what I saw, I thought it might have got out of bounds. Referees give the point to Cheraho, and that means it's a tied game. Another controversial call there. Bumped by Comperdiff, and now Laura, another tip over, getting the point. East bench trying to get their team, hype up their team. Principal Barberi with the assist to get it to Laura before serving it along. Good block there. And the point's going to go to Cherho on the violation.
Very close game, tied at 20-20 now. Another hard serve, out of bounds. Good job, good court awareness to let that go past, picking up an easy point for Cranston East. Now Larry Inn is set to serve. Yin gets it. Shum sets for Pinsons, who gets the point. Set one continues, and Cranston East continues to have close sets. Missed Great it there. there. Landon Marlin unable to properly bump that, and it goes in for a Cranston East point. And we'll see our first time out taken here in the waning stages of set number one. Cranston East is two points away from taking home our first set of action. We'll be back shortly with the remainder of our first set. Don't go anywhere. Chargers Bolts on the Fans Only Sports Network. Welcome back as set number one is in its final stages. Cranston East with the serve here as they need two points to close out our first set. Game is still close though, Charlie. But he seems like they're making the plays, the right plays at the end. Try to close it out. Larry in with another great serve. They're just one point away. Looking for their fourth league set it win in a row after a sweep of Bishop Hendrickson oh. on Tuesday. Not the greatest serve by Larry, but it's okay. He doesn't make many mistakes. Twenty-four to twenty-one. Comperative fields the serve by Cheraho and Pinsons drops it yeah. in, finishing off the set. Great finish of the first set by East. fixing their mistakes and using that to capitalize. 25 to 21, Cranston East takes the first set over Cherahoe. We'll be back with set number two after this quick break.
Welcome back to the Fans Only Sports Network. It is set two on your doorstep here. The Cranston East Thunderbolts took the first set 25 to 21. Probably a little closer than it should have been as they were somewhat handing out a couple of points there along the set. But they managed to stick through it and pick up the first set win and are on their way, hopefully, to back-to-back -back league wins. Charlie Adams joined by John Garcia. And, John, what did you see out of Cranston East in our first set? They started off very well, unlike their last game, which it didn't take them, like, half the set to start playing good. A couple mistakes here and there, but it seems like every time they made a mistake, they would do two good things after. So I'm thinking they're going to get the win here, and they just need to keep playing well off the start, Charlie. So Larry Yin back to serve. And Yin starts off our second set going out of bounds and gifting a point to Cheriho. So if you're just joining us and unsure about the scoreboard currently, in the gray numbers is the set lead and in the white numbers is the current points of set number two, which is now even one to one. Great kill from Charles Pinson to there. Good set from Caleb. Caleb Schum serves it over. Bumped by Spasato. Good block from Cade in there. Not to speculate, but Ricard seems to be dealing with some sort of allergies or something, but fighting through it here on the court and has had himself a pretty good first set and starting the second set off nicely as well. Another good block from the Thunderbolts. Another great block from Charles Pinson. East is starting exactly how I said they would, starting off strong, not making many mistakes. Sir from Caleb. Tossed up and out of bounds. Good job from Larry in to let that ball go out. Cranston East getting another one here, a quick three point lead. Ooh. Caught slipping there, it's four to two. One-handed save by Cheriho, but too many hits, and it goes Cranston East way on the scoreboard. Five to two, Pinson's back to serve. Thank you to everyone tuned in watching Cranston East Volleyball on the Fans Only Sports Network as Brandon Knowles goes a long way to keep this rally alive for Laura to pick up the point for Cranston East. East is playing great volleyball today, Charlie. Doing everything they want to do and doing it to perfection. Mm. As I say that, they hit it right out of bounds. You know, so far I think they might have been a little sharper in their Hendrickson game, at least up to the, until this point. As Larry in. Sets it over, and Ricard with the tap over for the point. Good recovery from Caden on a bad set there. Made something out of nothing to get the point across for Cranston East. Seven to three in our second set. Caden Comprades with the serve now. Just a bit short. Some Cranston East sports results. So as I said, there's a busy day 
And the girls softball team picked up a 12 to two victory in their game versus Davies. Another big spike from Dennis Dixon. He's having a great day today, Charlie, in the middle. The girls' softball team, since dropping down a division, has been a juggernaut. Last year they made the playoffs. This year they've come out the gate swinging and putting up great victories. We picked up another one here on this slightly rainy day. Dennis Dixon continues to be one of the biggest impact players whenever he's on the court. He's taking over right now, making huge impact in the middle. Drops Great it serve. in. Serve from Cato. Couple of spikes and now an ace for Cranston East. On a roll here, up by six. Timeout taken by Cherriho and trying to maybe stifle a little momentum of Cranston East who are rolling to start set number two. Thunderbolt Sports Talk is your home for Cranston East in the podcast world. The only podcast that you'll find talking about Cranston East sports and new episode comes out tomorrow. Some special guests as Tim Yeen enjoys his vacation in Cambodia. Emmett Billings and Evan Morell, fellow TSM members, Thunderbolt Sports Media members, joining the program tomorrow to talk everything in the sports world as we head into April vacation. Should be a fun episode. You can listen on Spotify and all streaming platforms where you get your podcasts. John, will you be sure to turn in tomorrow for Thunderbolt Sports Talk? Yes, sir. What time is it again? Uh, well, you know, we record in period one during the school day, and it should be published around 9, 930 and then be available from that point on. It's episode 10 of season two of Thunderbolt Sports Talk. I will be watching it during second period, brother. Hoping it's very entertaining. Hitting all the topics that I want you guys to hit. Well, there's definitely going to be some interesting characters on, to say the least. Yep, yep. Some it's going to be a big one. I think it's going to be the biggest one. I don't know, maybe. You got some big people there. Yes, sir. Really big. Huge people. Cheriho fields the serve, tossed over and out of bounds. Seems like the timeout didn't solve many of the East problems. Is, East is rolling right now, Charlie. They're playing their game. Bolts coming out in the second set, trying to make this victory look quick and painless. Another good block there. Dixon, look at those hops. Wow. Finally, Cheriho breaks through the defense for the point. Seems like a wall over there. Cheriho struggling to get it over. And they just keep bouncing up and blocking all of them, but eventually tiring them out. Cheriho back on the board finally. Oh. oh. Misplayed there by Larry Yin. Larry Yin went up against Ryan Yin, his relative against in the Bishop Hendrickon victory. No relatives of Yin on Cheriho. Great, great hit from Carlos Laura there, finally getting in the game, making, a, making an impact there. Grant Sinise has had some great athletic kills here getting some real height on these spike attempts and just dropping it right in. Cheriho goes up high, knocking off the pole. The point goes to Cranston East. Yin bumps, sets, and... Pinsons fires it in. He seems like they're getting whatever they want right now. 14 to six. Biggest lead of the day for them. Let's go, 
Whoa, that didn't look legal. All right, and it's not. Terre Haute's trying whatever right now. Try to get back into this game. Jack McCallig with some innovative offense there. Didn't pay off. Ooh, too strong from Carlos there. Dixon went up high there. Rally's still alive, and now it's not. Cranston East unable to send it back over and giving up a point. First misfire of the day from Dixon. Might have the best shoe game on the team, though. Tossed up. Pinsons drops it in for the kill. Another hard attempt there by Cherryho rally, rallying a little bit now after he's got a little comfortable. Plant Mullen pushes it over for the point. Now Shum to Pinson's, blocked back by Great. Plant Mullen. Point goes to Cheraho. One thing I've noticed is, that is the absence of Caden Ricard. Seems like he's taking more, more of a rest right now. He just got into the game now. Plant Mullen pushes it over. Yin sets it for Pinsons, who fires wide, out of bounds, 17 to 10. Strong serve. Little wide bump there by Yin. And it's getting a little sloppy here from the Cranston East side as of late. They give up a point to Cheriho again. Kind of losing control with these last couple of rallies. Now Laura grounds the team as Pinson's fakes and Ricard went high. It was blocked back by Cheriho. Comeback continues for the Chargers. East Bench trying to rally their team back. Pinsons with the hard spike in. Cheriho recovers. Now Shum sets it. Pinsons firing too wide. Much power. That's not the first time, and it's definitely not going to be the last. Momentum going towards Cheriho. But maybe this timeout will help stop some of these. Serves going too far from Cranston East. 17 to 13, it used to be 16 to nine, but a comeback from Cheriho has them in a much better position as we take a break. We'll be right back, don't go anywhere. Set two continues when we return. Welcome back. Set two continues. Cranston East leads one set to none. Charlie Adams joined by John Garcia and another good spike from Cranston East. Getting back to what we like to see out of the Thunderbolts following their timeout. Pinsons 
is ready to serve it. Oh. And Plant Mullen tipped it off the net. And the point went to Cranston East. Trying to tip it over is Spasado. Spasado goes high this time and it's blocked over by Cranston East. Tafa and Doye and Caden Ricard go up for it and the Bolts are the first to 20 here in set two. Back up to a seven point lead and back within control of this set. Said it wouldn't be the last, and it's not as Charles Pinson's too much power again. <laughs> Pinson's went wide there, touching just out of bounds. Twenty-one to fourteen, Cranston East. They look well on their way to sweeping once again. It's always speaking too soon, but their performance so far seems stronger than that that they put up against Bishop Hendrick in this past Tuesday. Shroom sets, and now he sends it over. Great readjustment there for a bad set. So Caleb took it and got the point there for East. It's 22 to 14. East with a comfortable lead here. Just need to finish it out now. Good serve. Nine point lead. I dare to say that's the biggest of the game of this entire game between these two teams. Set one was pretty close all the way around. And that one tipped off of Pinson's point goes to Cheroho. Pinson's is trying to duck out of the way unsuccessfully. Eight point lead for Cranston East as Cheroho readies to serve with Casey Poplowski sending it over to freshman Cranston East picks up another one as it goes out on Landon Marlin's spike attempt. One point away from taking home set number two. East with the comfortable lead, just need to finish it out here now. Cato Comprath with the serve. Good oh, serve. an ace to finish off set number two. 25 to 15, Cranston East takes the second set by double digits. And now a 2-0 set lead on Cheriho as we enter our third set, which could be our final set. We'll be back after this.
Welcome back to the Fans Only Sports Network. Cranston East leads two sets to none. And we're ready for set three. Pinsons tries to get Cranston East on the board first. And it's going to be Cheriho with Landon Marlin. Big spike out of him. And Cheriho starts off set number three with a 1 0 lead. Great start from Cheriho there. Off the gate. Pinsons finding the line there. Hasn't been the case all day, but on that spike, he gets it. Some more Cranston East sports results rolling in as the Thunderbolts baseball team fell 7-5 to five to South Kingstown. South Kingstown's been pretty good for a while here. They in, they in fact, they also beat Cranston West 12-1, to one, Charlie, yeah, in baseball so. too. You know, they might be... A little matchup comparison going into their senior night game, which was fireworks to say the least. Last year when was they great faced game. up last year. Saw that game live. Hoping for an even better game this year. It was definitely a great game after the year before Cranston East had a mercy rule in a senior night game. That's a pretty rough way to celebrate your seniors if you're a Falcon. Yeah. Point going to Cheriho there. Look for a second like Cranston East still had life in that. Referee's whistle says otherwise. Seems like Cheriho made an adjustment after their second after the second set. Is it too little too late? The in bumps, Shum sets, and Tafa and Doye knocks it through for the kill. He's rolling. The bolts are rolling here in set number three. Up two sets to none. Pinson's is back ready to serve. A couple light taps back and forth, and now soccer kick doesn't get the job Just done. Just the foot there. Try getting creative to get the ball up. Whatever gets the job done, and I guess the foot didn't. Four to three. Seems like Charles took a little bit less power to put in more aim into his serve there. Point, Cranston East. Pinsons drops it in for the ace. And as these sports games are wrapping up, some athletes tend to take their trip from nearby stadium right into Venatulo Gym to cheer on their fellow athletes. See some of them trickling in here. The unified basketball team was also in action against Tollgate today. Also the injury fund meet for the boys and girls cross or track and field teams. Already got you the baseball and softball score results. So you should be all up to date as Laura goes high and spikes it down. Carlos Laura is playing very well today between the three sets so far. There is one way you don't have to rely on watching a broadcast here on the Fans Only Sports Network to stay updated with Cranston East Athletics. Check out at TV Sports Media on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with all the action. Games that are being broadcasted, games that are happening, games results, and all the top performers are available for you 
on TV Sports Media's Instagram page, as well as our Twitter, or X, formerly known as Twitter. You can also check out the website, tvsportsmedia.com, for original articles and also up-to-date standings for all of our teams. For Twitter, does Emmett Billings win that account? Uh, no, it's actually our advisor, Mr. Simone. Oh. Cranston East, Dennis Dixon unable to push it over to net, and point goes to Cherho. Two points separating Cranston East and the Chargers here. We're approaching April vacation. Still sports action to be broadcasted here from Cranston East and Cranston West on the Fans Only Sports Network. Thunderbolts pick up another point here. Thunderbolts baseball is back in action on Saturday when they take on LaSalle. Laura tries to push it Good over. Good save from Larry in. Oh. Oh. Good try from Larry there. In with a good job backing up the play. Unable to save that point. Goes low for that one and is tossed up to Dixon. Continue to feed Dennis Dixon. Great opportunities and he keeps making the most of it. 10 to seven here in our third set. Spiked out of bounds. Point goes to Cranston East. East building a little bit of a lead here now. Set like just like the last game. Carlos tried jump serving there. Saved it right out of bounds. Point going to Cranston East here. As Cater and Card currently off the court. No worse for the wear as the action continues here with Larry Yin sending the serve over. Shum sets or bumps and that sets and I'm getting used to all this. But it got over the net. That's all you need to know and now Yin oh. with the opportunity for Shum, who Caleb tried doing some fancy there. Barely, just almost got over the net. It's bump, set, spike. All right, all right. We'll remember it. Bump, set, set. by Shum, and spiked spike. over by Tafa and Doye. Now for the block attempt. Just barely missing the mark. Spiked by Charles Pinsons. Cherho sending it far and wide, but managing to get it back over the net. Pinson's with the power to get it past the blockers and another point for Cranston East. Caden Ricard back into the game as Cato Comperdiff heads to the sideline. One-handed save made by Brandon Knowles, and Cheriho keeps this rally alive. Not for long, though. In comes Tafa Ndoye with the kill. Shum, what a serve. Nice ace there for the Cranston East Thunderbolts and Caleb Shum. East up by six now. Timeout taken, 15 to nine. Cranston East with a strong lead in our third set. 
They look well on their way to sweeping back-to-back -back league matchups here live on the Fans Only Sports Network. When we return, the final action here from set number three. Welcome back, set number three. Just 10 points away from Cranston East, picking up another sweep here. And off the timeout, Shum looks for another ace. Won't get it this time. And the point's going to Cranston East. Uh, Some sort of violation there. I believe that was on Cheriho for trying to play the ball on the other side of the net. That's what I saw on my end. That's what the hand signal offered. Ooh, the jump serves from East today. Going out of bounds almost every single time. Hey man. At least they're trying to experience yeah. something new. You know, it hasn't completely cost them any full set. It's definitely cost them a couple of points here, at least a couple. At least they're trying, though. Something new. Good dig by Carlos Laura. Oh, wow. And Shum with the light push over the net. Bad hit there by Cody Poploski. Goes out of bounds. Cranston East Up by goes seven back in now. front by seven. Charles about to serve again. If you want to talk about a jump serve, there it is. Out of bounds. He's trying. He will keep trying. Larry in with the save and now too much power for Cheriho to handle. It goes out of bounds. Cranston East at 18 points. Yin takes a seat. Tafa and Doye takes a seat. And say high five their team managers on the way to the bench or to stand next to the bench with the team managers. Yeah. Tossed up and Ricard unable to block that successfully. Probably asking those team managers for tips on how to get better in, on the game. Caden Ricard getting a little instruction from Coach Jamal Diggs there. And putting yes. it into action maybe as that's, he spikes that in for the kill. That's what we like to see from Caden Ricard there. I'm loving what I'm seeing here, brother. Most definitely. 19 to 12, six points away from Cranston East picking up a sweep victory. New sub. First time in the three sets. Christian Rivera onto the floor here. Oh, Char Charles falling apart now. East with the lead 20 to 12. Coach Diggs exper experimenting new things now. We're getting some new players, new faces onto the court here as Xing Yu Wang, senior outside hitter. Checks in for the first time here tonight. Comperative pushes it right back over the net. Now a good block there, and the Thunderbolts pick up another point. John Karoa checks into the game here, 21 to 12. And the Thunderbolts are all smiles, having fun as set three is in its closing stages. Four points away from winning tonight's matchup. Now make that three with another successful, successful block. And 
John Karoa, Johnny Q. Jump serves it over. And if Cherho's done one thing well today, it's been letting the ball go out of bounds behind the back line. Do it again here. It's 22 to 13. Cranston East is really helping them train that as it's been a common occurrence on, I'd say, maybe even like half of the points that Cranston East has allowed Cherho to pick up. Might cost them down the stretch, but it won't cost them here tonight. Teams are something they need to work on in practice, Charlie. Maybe against a tougher opponent. They'll face Classical on Monday. Classical swept Hendrickson. They swept Cherho. And hopefully Cranston East won't fall down that same path. That'll be an away game taking place during vacation for all Cranston East students. Great friend of mine goes to that school, Cher Classical. Star point guard Abdul Evans. Yep. Once compared to LeBron James on the yep. Fans Only Sports and Network. And I agree fully with that. Won a state championship and a division championship. Yep, Classical took both of them this year. Yep. Last year they were split bet between LaSalle and... I, I will Bishop be at the Hendrick. NBA draft when Abdul Evans gets drafted. Cranston East lets that one fall in. It's now an eight-point game. Cherho continuing to fight to the last point here. I want to see a Larry Ian spike here, Charlie. In the I, last don't, I don't know if he does that. I want to see him do it. I see. I think they should let him try. Dennis Dixon tosses it over and gets the job done again. They are one point away, 24 to 15. Could be another sweep coming up here. Larry, will Larry Ian finish this game? Jump serve. I'm feeling it, Char I'm feeling it, Charlie. Toffin Doye nearly failing to check into the game, but makes it late. And now jump serve from Larry Yin looking for an ace. It's out of bounds. He was jumping. He was ready for it. He didn't get it. Now serve goes to Cheriho. Larry wanted to end it in style. And now we'll bump. And Rivera will set, and it will be spiked over by Tafa and Doye. That's and game. That will do it. Cranston East with the clean sweep of Cheriho, making it look easy for the second game in a row after sweeping Bishop Hendrickson. They come here against the Cheriho Chargers and get back-to-back -back sweeps. Make that two games for Tim Yeen, not broadcasting that the Cranston East Boys volleyball team has picked up a win. Final thoughts from you, John Garcia. I think it was a great game. Came out the gate, hitting, doing everything they needed to do. The only mistakes were the serves. I think like they gave up a lot of points there, but in all, they had a great game. And I think they were going to do great this year. So sweep it is for Cranston East. If you'd like to keep up with Thunderbolt Sports, tune in to Thunderbolt Sports Talk, the Cranston East podcast, available every Friday morning on all your favorite streaming platforms, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you get your podcast, you can get Thunderbolt Sports Talk. New episode coming out tomorrow, Season 2, Episode 10. You won't want to miss this one before we take a week off for April vacation. We'll see you then, but for now, we'll say goodbye here from the Fans Only Sports Network. Charlie Adams signing off on behalf of myself, my broadcast partner, John Garcia, and my cameraman, Ashton Allison, and my other cameraman, Adrian Tim. Have a great rest of your night. We will see you next time here on the Fans Only Sports Network.